Technology is the bread and butter of our research, so we're dependent on physical methods to be able to look at challenging biological systems. And the Mars spectroscopy is a pillar for us. This is the main method that we use. My research is uh, focused on understanding structure and dynamics of a large protein assemblies, those that come from HIV-1 virus, as well as proteins which are connected to the cytoskeletal components such as microtubules and actin and that participate in the transport along the microtubules. So the main question is how the structure and dynamics in the systems are related to their function in healthy and diseased states. In the HIV research, it turns out that there is a lot of structural information available of the assemblies of the virus in different contexts. But what's extremely important in these kinds of systems is the motions of the individual proteins that comprise those assemblies. And what we have recently discovered is that these motions can modulate the viral infectivity. So it's the dynamics and not the structural changes that actually fine-tune the interactions of the virus with host factor, so-called cyclophilin A molecule, and this modulation allows the virus to escape the dependency of this cellular host factor. So this is an example where NMR spectroscopy can contribute unique information which is not accessible from X-ray diffraction or cryo-electron microscopy methods. So this is an exciting times for us because with the recent technologies that were not accessible even three or four years ago, I would say, we can now peer into the structures of these large systems at atomic resolutions, look at their motions occurring on a variety of timescales, and understand how these relate to function. The reason why the field has been surging and all these really nice technological developments have been coming is because there is an ongoing discussion between the NMR scientists working on the bench and instrument manufacturers. This has been a history and tradition of our field and this is why I think that we're so innovative and successful.